Welcome back to a new one on this channel and on this one we uh, this one is a short one we need to talk about different key and time signatures how to change them and how to change the tempo now working with this is very uh, you know very straightforward it's very visual so whenever you have a session right here I just made something with uh, the loops that you get from studio one you should check them out they're very you know they're cool Right, so super simple. Now, when you start a session right here at the bottom, you can uh, change your your timing, and you have your your key signature, which is just your you know your time signature and your key signature, and you can define it from here. And this is like the global one for your project. I can select the numerator and the denominator right here, and then you can change the tempo. I'm pretty sure you you knew all of this. Now, what I want to do, I want to change them at some point in time. How can we do this? Well, we need to go right here to the global track uh, visibility. And whenever you click it, you have two uh, spots right here, the signature and the tempo. So now we're gonna, we're gonna do the signature because it's just easy. So whenever you go there, you can really see that you have the global one and then you have your key signature. So this is like the main one. If you want to change whatever you have right here, you can change it from here. You can change it from here. It doesn't matter. Now the thing, what I want to do, I want to maybe go right here and just change the key signature and the time signature. You have two main ways of doing this. You can go to the signature right here and you can just, you know, uh, click on the plus and it's going to ask you, is the time signature or a key signature? You can do it from here. But if you're standing right here, you can do right click and it's just going to ask you for the same thing. So let's do time signature. I'm going to click it. And as soon as you do so, it's going to ask you, what do you want to do? What's the numerator and the denominator? So I'm going to do three and then four. So I'm going to say, okay. And once you do so, it's just going to be you know, letting you know that you changed it. If I assume this, you can really see that it's changing to three and four. We don't have four, we have three now. If we go to the other one, we can see that we have a four. So as you know, it's just kind of a really working. Now, if you want to remove it, you just need to right click it and then remove the time signature, or you just can go right here because the cursor is standing on, you know, right there at the spot. You can just do minus and it's gonna remove it for you. I'm gonna be adding this from here, time signature, I'm going to do the same thing then before I'm going to do three and then, you know, there you go. Now, of course, if you, at some point you want to get back, you just need to stand right there and just add the time signature change. Maybe you're going to go back to four, four, and it's just going to do it for you. All right. So what with the key signature? Well, it works the same way. If I want to do it right here, I'm going to be standing right there. And I'm just going to do insert key signature. I'm going to click it. And then it's just, you know, it's going to ask me. Maybe I'm going to change it to whatever. It doesn't matter. And uh, right there, it's just going to change it for you. So we have C minor and then we have D. And if I want to go back right here to the same thing, I'm going to do plus and insert key signature. And I'm going to be going back maybe to C minor. Okay, so that's it. That's pretty much how it's done. It's just very visual and very simple, a very simple thing to do. And of course, when you change it, the timeline will adjust just like, you know, we saw in a second ago. And if you're using scorecard, uh, the scorecard, it will show you the changes, just changes right there. All right, so now then we have uh, we have tempo changes. I'm going to be closing the signature. And notice that you have the tempo right here. So when I click it, it's going to, you know, it's going to give you this. Now, by default, the project, it's going to be 120 BPM. We can just, you know, hear that. And right here, you just can change the tempo from here. At the beginning, you have your main tempo. If I move this around, it's going to go much slower. Now, if you want it, you can just go right here and do 120. And it's just going to go, you know, to whatever tempo you want. Okay. So notice that you have a max and you have a min. So this is the minimum you can go in terms of tempo and the max you can go if he'll go all the way up is going to be 250. Now the thing is that you have a very limited, you know, limited space right here. You can just make it bigger if you wanted to, but it's a very limited space. And sometimes you, maybe you just don't want to go to 250. So when you trim it, you know, it's going to it's going to let you or give you more space to work with. So maybe if we are working with 120, let's just go there. I just, I'm not going to go to 250. Maybe I'm going to be going to, I don't know, 140. So I know that if I go max right here, it's going to be 149 in this case. And if I go low, it's going to be 10, but maybe I don't want 10. I want something like, I don't know, 87. So if I go all the way up, all the way down, always is going to be the min or the max. Now by control clicking, it's going to go to the default, which is 240 and 60. 
All right, so if you select the uh, brick points, you just can delete them with the, you know, with delete, and just go back to 100, uh, you know, the default tempo. So to change the tempo at some point in time, you have uh, two ways of doing this. You can go right here and just click, and it's going to create a note, and then maybe go right here, create a different node, and maybe go up on this one. It's just gonna speed up in this fashion. It's gonna gradually go from 120 to whatever that you want that you have right there. If I play it, it's gonna speed up until we get right there. Now, what you can do, you can just you know make it curve if you wanted to by hovering there. It's gonna give you the the, uh, the note, or you can just do it like that. Now, if you want to, to uh, make this more linear, you can just right click and straighten the curve. It's just going to go back to the beginning. Now, uh, by selecting all this, you can just go and delete it. So you can also maybe go right there and do plus, and it's going to add a note for you. And then maybe go right there and just, you know, add a different note. Just different way of, ways of doing this. Now, sometimes maybe uh, dragging this is going to be like a uh, maybe a pain in the ass because uh, it goes all the, all the way to 240. So you, you don't have a lot of space. So maybe you want to fine tune it. So when you right click, you have some options like cut, copy or delete. Pretty self-explanatory. But right here, it lets you fine tune the tempo. So maybe I can, I want to go specifically to 140. So you just do it that way and it's just going to do it for you. Now also when you hover at the top, not at the bottom, at the top, you get the trim. So this will let you go all the way down, just trim up or down that section and you can do it to the other sections as well All right so it's going to just be going to work like that so if i play it back All right, it's just gonna it's gonna work now let me just show you something else that is super cool i'm going to delete everything and again i want to go back to 150 to 120 i can go right there say 120 and you know there you go now another thing that you can do you can use the control so if i hold the control and i'm doing it right now there's the symbol changes so i can maybe go right here and when i click it and i drag horizontally it's going to create a breakpoint and i'm just you know holding the control and dragging the mouse horizontally it's just going to adjust whatever tempo that we have now this is going to be the left side of the breakpoint but maybe i want to do it right here so it's going to be adjusting this one so whatever you click and you drag horizontally, it's just going to let you adjust different, you know, different tempo changes or breakpoints. Now, of course, if I play this back, it's going to be, it's going to be really weird. But yeah, you know, you, you, you can do it. All right. Now, again, remember that by clicking the note, the right, cl uh, right click, you just can delete the, the, the breakpoint. But maybe I just want to wipe everything out. Just going to delete, just uh, delete all the breakpoints like that. OK, so let me show you something else. I'm going to be going right here and I'm going to create a note. And if you don't want to right click when you're standing, uh, the cursor is standing on that note, you can go right here and maybe change the tempo from here. So, you know, you don't need to do right click and do it from there. And then I'm going to be maybe going here, going to create the breakpoint. I'm going to stand where that breakpoint is. I'm going to go back right here and do 120. And we are just back to the, uh, you know, the uh, normal tempo. OK, so notice that uh, there is a lot of change from 120 to 180. But the grid right here at the back, it's just not changing. So this is a trick to, uh, to this. Uh, you can do right click and you can go to time base. And by default, it's going to be bit beat linear. So this means that when you do the tempo change, it's just, you know, the grid right there and the time ruler is just not going to change. So you can just right click, go to time base. You can change it to time linear. If I do so, notice that now the changes are a little bit more obvious. Of course, the time is just still going to change. But right there at the back, it's just going to, you know, look a little bit different. It's just a little bit easier to see, you know, to identify where is the tempo change than the other, you know, the other time base. Fine. So it's just a you know a, an option that you get if you want to make it more obvious. All right, so that's it. Uh, remember that if you're standing where the nodes are, you do minus. You're going to be deleting the nodes. Uh, so I'm going to go there. I'm going to go there and do minus. Now, if you ask me, it's a little bit easier, but but doing it uh, doing the uh, right click and just you know maybe adding the node. All right, so one more thing before we go, uh, I'm going to be adding uh, a tempo change. It doesn't matter. So maybe going to go right there and just do it 
do something like that. It, again, it doesn't matter. So uh, when you, maybe I'm gonna bring this signature, the time signature we did before, when you're playing back, maybe you want to hide all this. Of course, when you hide this, this is still gonna do it, right? So, you know, maybe you're gonna stand right there. But this is still working. So if you want to know what's going on behind the scenes, when you go right here at the bottom, whatever it is that you did, it's gonna it's gonna show you right here at the bottom. So when it reaches right here, it's gonna change the key, the timing, and everything else. So you can hide whatever you have right here and you can still monitor everything from this section. Right. So that's it, it's a very straightforward, very visual, it's very simple to use. So, uh, okay, so if you liked all of this, please remember to like and subscribe. And if you have the money and you want to buy me a coffee just to say thanks, you can go to the links at the description and you have links for PayPal, you have Patreon and you have YouTube, thanks. All right, so see you on the next one.